Well, thank you so much for having me over. Your, your place is really lovely. Yeah. No, for sure. I, I love the portraits up there. Do you guys have to, like, do you guys, like, buy the matching outfits and go to, like, so, like Sears? Does Sears even exist anymore? They do it at Target now? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I mean, they're awesome. And uh, truly, uh, thank you. It's great. I, uh, I brought the, the green bean casserole. I hope you guys didn't already. Oh, you did make one? I mean, I, who, like, let's see who's better than I can. <laughs> I, uh, I just, I, I, really, I made it from a can, pretty much. Like, it's just the, the cream of mushrooms. You do the same? Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, Thanksgiving for me, it's like, don't, don't, don't fix it if it ain't broken. You know what I mean? Uh, I, like to, I like to play the hits. I like to play the hits. Uh, but really, I mean, the, the food looks fantastic. The spread, everything y'all did, it's, it's really lovely. It's, it's working for me. <clears throat> yeah, uh-huh. Oh, no, for sure, for sure. Let's dig in. The sweet potato, okay, you made the sweet potato casserole? Yeah, the, marsh the marshmallows to me are the key. Do you guys have like a strategy for, for building the, the plate? Because I, I have this whole theory where like what you got to do is you got to separate the sweet sides from the savory sides. Because like I, I love all the Thanksgiving plate stuff, right? But w when you get like the cranberry sauce and the marshmallows mixed with the gravy, it kind of weirds me out. So I like to put like, like a divider of turkey in the middle. Yeah, because then the turkey, like, it, it acts as, like, a sponge for, like, the cranberry sauce on one side, and then the gravy on the other side, and then they don't have to touch. It's like when you go to, you, you go to like, Denny's and you get the, the pancakes on the same plate. Like, I, I need to make, a, a, like, a wall, like a beaver dam of the, of the sausage in the bacon. So that way you put the syrup on the pan and none of it gets on the eggs. Yeah, that's just that. I'm, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I guess, like, weird like that, but, you know, yeah. Well, hey, uh, let's, I mean, don't wait for me. Like, please, start eating. I see you already started eating. This is a weird thing that I have to do with every napkin whenever I sit down. Like, don't mind me. It's just, it's just totally my thing. But every time I see a napkin, I have to take it and I fold it like this. It's, it's super, stu I almost, it's almost a compulsion at this point where, like, I can't even stop myself if I tried. But seriously, so like, do this on like your next Thanksgiving. Like, I'm just saying, like, don't let me come in here and tell you how to run things. But you fold it like that, and then you like put the silverware inside, and then you got a nice little pocket. I know, it's super, it's super stupid, but like, I, uh, I worked for this catering company in college, uh, and we had to do this like a thousand times. I mean, literally a thousand napkins a day. We had to fold like this, and so I would sometimes come in. I'd have like headphones in. I'd be like listening to. Not like lectures, but it would be like a class that I was in. If it was about like dinosaurs or something, I'd be like, well, maybe if I listen to a podcast about dinosaurs and I, I don't have to study. And so I'd just plug that in and then I'd, I'd come in and I'd sit down and I'd just fold a thousand napkins listening to a podcast about dinosaurs like to get a D minus in that class. It was hard. It was a, it was a hard class. It was like technically a math class because that's how college works where they're like, don't know how to do calculus? Take dinosaurs. It's harder than calculus. And it's like, what? I thought it was going to be like, <laughs> I imagined it being like, like literally I thought it was going to have a picture and be like, which dinosaur is this? And I'd be like, that's a stegosaurus. And instead it was just like, prove via this evolutionary diagram that a hamster is more closely related to a frog than a human. And I was like, oh, I don't reckon I could do that. I don't reckon I could do that. All right. Yeah. yeah no, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. <clears throat> Oh, that, yeah, no, it's a, it's a spork? Yeah, no, not like a, no, no, everyone, for some reason people are always like, is that a fork? And I'm like, no, it's a spork, because you could eat like a thick soup with it. Yeah, no, it's, I got it when I was like 23, it was like 85 bucks, it's totally stupid. I mean, I, I love it though, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of just one of those things. People are like, aren't you going to regret that when you're old? And I'm like, I'm going to regret a lot more when I'm old than that. You brine it? Yeah. You yeah, it's just it makes it makes all the difference. No, I didn't. I didn't expect the cranberry sauce to be made from. I I think a lot of people think because like I cook food and, and stuff like that that 
I'm someone who's like snobby about it, but like honestly, cranberry sauce, the stuff from the can is just it's just better. I've like I've made my own cranberry sauce from scratch. Just like every time I do, I'm like, well, that's two hours I'll never get back in my life. So no, the can stuff's great. Gotta be name brand though. Gotta be, gotta be Ocean Spray. Okay, so I'm sorry, I gotta take this real quick. Oh, I don't need a charger. Sorry, I know this is like super rude. I just gotta check something real quick. <laughs> it was a it was a DM on LinkedIn. Yeah. No, I I I don't know. I don't know how I turned on notifications for it. It just like kind of happened. Honestly, though, like kind of a nice non toxic space to be. Like Twitter, you know, it's just I feel like you log on, you get depressed, and then you go on LinkedIn. And it's just like I got a promotion. It's like heck yeah, heck yeah, Jamie. Yeah, you did. Also, I gotta say, I love that you did mac and cheese. Because, like, people who don't have mac and cheese on their table Thanksgiving, they don't know what they're missing. I'm gonna put gravy. I'm, sorry, I'm like talking with my mouth full. I don't get out much. Oh gosh. Black pepper, the black pepper. I put too much black pepper in the creamy casserole. I'm sorry, this is... Look at the lights. Okay. We're good, false alarm, false alarm. Do you think this is one of the turkeys that was pardoned? No, I'm kidding, they don't, they don't actually... They actually like, they kind of like go on to live full lives, I read. I read like a whole, I think it was like Slate or something. They they did this whole piece about like what happens to the pardoned turkeys, uh, and they just like yeah it's like a follow up piece five years later with the turkey and they're like yep still being a turkey. It's funny someone got like paid to write that. I could write that piece. Mm. Yeah, please. Thank you. I like how you saw it. You were like, he, he seems like this man needs gravy. Thank you. And so you're, you're in your third year? Okay. Oh, so you, you took like the, like a year after high school. You're just like, where's, you're just like, like chilling. I mean, not like chilling, but like, you know, you're like, like, do you have a job or, oh, okay, cool. No, that's, I, if I could do it over again, I'd go to community college. Like, honestly, like I just, you know, it seems cool not to. And then, uh, you know, you're at school and then you get that like, Right when you graduate, they don't tell you this, but right when you graduate, you just get like an email that's like, congrats, you owe a bunch of money. Like, that's it. Like, they don't even like send you, it's not like a, a gentle easing in process. They're just like, this is like, you have 40 grand in student loans, start paying them back or we're going to sue you. Save money, I mean, you get the same education. People only care where the, like the degree that you like graduated with comes from. Like, like no one looks... One, no one even like looks at job applications really. Like no one looks at the the education on it, you know. I remember when I applied for I'm sorry, sleep are too good. When I applied for my first full time job after college, I put my college GPA on my resume just because I thought that's how you had to do it. And it was like a two point seven. And literally I got hired for the job and the person who hired me was like, Hey, uh, by the way, 
Unless you have like a 3.9 GPA, don't put it on a resume. That's that's weird. Then I was like, yeah, it makes sense. I can see on me going, and I was a C average. Didn't exactly like sell it, but yeah. I mean, like I know everyone asks, but like, do you, do you know what you want to do after? No, I mean, who does? Well, you don't need to. I mean, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do until, you know, like, I don't know, probably fourth year of college. I was like, let's start a blog. And now I'm, you know, kind of spiraled. Kind of spiraled out of control after that. But oh, you'll figure it out. Like, you eventually do. Like, who really has it figured out, you know? Mm hmm. Criminology? That's cool. Like, like studying, like, I don't know, when I, when I hear, like, I'm studying criminology, I think, of, like, all the podcasts, like, do you, you're a true, yeah, yeah, true crime, yeah. What's one? Are you a mer like, if I said, if I said hail yourself, does that mean anything to you? Yeah, no, I, I listen to it, too. Yeah, I'm a, no, I'm a huge fan. It's because they did a whole thing on, um, on Scientology, on, like, L. Ron Hubbard. It was like a four-part podcast. It, yeah, it was. They went like deep on it too. It was crazy. It started as like a literally like a science fiction book, and then now it's you know you got Tom Cruise and oh, uh, it's it's nuts. I mean, like you want to be respectful, but it's like well, I don't know. There's like too many missing people to like really you know like where's Shelley Miscavige? You know, yeah. I actually yeah no I do uh yeah uh. -huh. No, I, yeah, I, I have a podcast. It's, it's like, not that intense, though. We, we just kind of, like, argue about a... It's called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich? No, I, I'm not, you know, again, I'm not even, I don't want to, like, this, like, cool, let's not start that fight now. I'm not, I'm, like, saying it is or isn't necessarily. It was, we thought it was a cool, catchy name because um, it's all about, like, food debates, you know, where we... Yeah, so it'll be, like, stupid little questions, even just, like, pepperoni or cheese pizza, you know? But, uh, yeah, no, and, and people actually listen to it. Yeah, I, I <laughs> honestly, I don't know why either. It's like, I, I, I love NPR as much as the next person, but, you know, I guess, yeah, people find some value in it, and, you know, that's all I can... It's not, no, it's not on the radio. Like, you have to go... So, like, I mean, a podcast, it, it's, it's basically a radio show, um, but it's on, like, the, it's like an on-demand radio show. It's, like, on the internet, pretty much. Like, you have, uh, do, you have do you have Spotify? No? Uh, like, Apple they have like a podcast app. And so you pretty much just go in and you, you can download it or like you can just kind of stream it and listen to them. Um, yeah, we put out, you know, a lot of episodes and I uh, hope it keeps going, but. Hmm. No, we also we also make um YouTube videos. Yeah, your your nephew watches. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, you can't. You. <laughs> Sorry. Give me give me a second. Give me one second. You can watch it on on like a TV, but it has to be a like a smart TV, and. Do you, no, I, um, <clears throat> no, I don't, it's not, you can't get it on, like, like the antenna TVs. Uh, you'd have to, like, it's, it's on the internet, so, again, it's, like, a, like, a sort of on-demand TV thing, but, um, yeah, we just kind of, like, cook food and hang out, it's, you know, me and, like, my coworkers, uh, it's called Mythical Kitchen, um, no, it's not, like, not, like, not, like, Greek myths, no, 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 there's just, it's the name of the company that I work for. It was um, started by these. Uh, they're they're like big, like legendary comedians among like young younger pe people. It's called Rhett and Link. Um, they started a company called Mythical Entertainment, and so I've been there for like a while. But we didn't start making videos until like two years ago. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, no, they know what I'm talking about. It's yeah, it's it's such a weird thing. It's the way that like media has been changing so fast. I can't honestly, I I can't keep up with it either. So. Mm -hmm. 
No, this is like this is almost the exact same as like at at my at my house. Like we we just you know it'll be like with with my grandma and you know we have we have pretty much the same spread except like you always get you know like cousin Jack will put some like cranberries and apples in the stuffing and everyone's like mm. they all try something new and we're all just like just play the hits Jack just like make I like the stovetop but uh, no yeah this that so I feel very at home so thank you yeah. Sorry, what? Why? Why am I not married yet? It's um, it's an ongoing con it's an ongoing conversation. Let's say, it was like you know, kind of like what's the rush? But I don't know. I know people are getting married so much later now. Um, and yeah, like there, there's like there's pros and cons, of course. You know, because part of me feels like you know if you can't like we're, we're trying to like settle in LA, you know what's what's the deal with that? And so. I figure, you know, why rush it? You know, we don't need like a legal document to prove our love and all that. I know times, yeah, times used to be different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No way. You're 22? That's <laughs> so crazy. I am. When I was 22, like, I was just living in like my, like, bum college apartment where our only decorations were like empty Jaeger bottles. I can't even imagine having a kid. I can't imagine having a kid. They would just have a really weird childhood. Right, they'd think that the only art that existed was like a Pulp Fiction poster. Yeah, no, everyone, everyone had that. It was, it was like Pulp Fiction or Boondock Saints. And those were like the two posters that everyone had in college. I think we should bring him back. I think we should bring him back. <laughs> no, come on, you're lying. You're lying. That didn't happen. I refuse to believe on an airplane. And no one, no one like there wasn't. I don't know. Like, are there actually air marshals on airplanes? Like, would they have? <laughs> You think somebody would have stopped them like before it got to that point? That's so crazy. <laughs> Man. I don't know. I'm way I'm way too scared to do something like that. I'm hurrying up, I'm hurrying up. I know, I know. The pie is out the oven. I'm fine. This is so good I can't stop eating. I'm I meant to save the dark meat for later. Can I take a bag? I put my own Ziploc bags in my pocket. Yeah. That's, just, that's like what I do if I show up somewhere. I know it's weird. I think it should be a compliment though. Hmm. Not to be like super gross with it, but I don't know, not, not a way to start a sentence during Thanksgiving dinner. But I read this the other day and I thought it was really funny. Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, it's actually the most busy day of the year for plumbers. Yeah. I don't, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying like, that wasn't me saying like I need to, I know, no, I, I saw the bathroom on the way in, I wasn't, I was just saying like, I think it's funny, like I'll, you know, I'll like, I'll like stop at the, the public library on the way back. That's what I like to do. That's how I like to, to, to patronize libraries in my business. I don't have a card, but I use the bathroom. You actually go to the library? Oh, no, I, I shouldn't be shocked. Like they're they're there for you to use. But like, what do you, what do you do? Oh, okay, because you don't have a computer in the house. Mm -mm. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll limit your screen time. Do I think you could host a podcast? <laughs> I think so. I mean, it's it's tough to get to say because like so many people, they have them. What would you talk about? What's your what's your passion? Uh. -huh. 
You've been for 20 years? I, I've like, I, I'm not in that. Like, I've heard there's some good woodworking podcasts out there. I was like, I'm not in that space, so I don't know. Like, I wouldn't be able to, like, give you a diagram of who your competitors are. But, um, no, but that's, that's the cool thing is that there's so many niche interests on the internet. But, like, you can just sort of find somebody who's into what you're into, you know? Yeah, put it out there. It's not hard to, hard to produce. You got an iPhone, you know, you can kind of put it out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd let my kid play football. I, I think like flag up until they're like old enough to really understand. It's just, we've seen all the data come out and it's, and it's just crazy. But that said, like I, I was, oh, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 sorry. No, no, don't. I got it. I got it. It's my mess. I can, I, I clean it up. It's fine. I totally understand. It was going to, it was bound to happen eventually. But, uh-oh, yep, right on the crotch, right on the crotch. Do you have, I keep a Tide pen in the car for this reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, oh, clumsy. But, yeah. But, you, no, you got to let your kids take risks, though. I, I, totally, I totally agree with that. I'm not saying I'm not like a, like a helicopter, you know, bubble wrap my kids type of person. But, yeah, but there's, like, calculated risks and, you know, things you can easily avoid. Like, you know, flag football with... I know, I know it teaches toughness, you know, but I think there's like, uh, there's other ways that you can teach your kids like, you know, mental toughness that you, you know, you don't have to prove it, you know, physically all the time. Cause you know, I'm, I'm someone that grew up, like I, I really like hated the culture around it and, um, you know, kind of found my own sort of, you know, sport. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I get that argument. You know, I mean, a lot of people have been perfectly great, successful, tough people without... I mean, you know, prove it by bashing their heads in every day, but. Yeah, I agree, disagree, I guess. You know. Ah! Oh. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I think there's a thing where your body doesn't recognize how full you are for like 15 minutes. I watch a lot of competitive eating, which one is a sport. Uh, they're, they're athletes. Like, have you seen them? Have you seen Joey? You just like cramming them. No, I, you can't watch. It's like uh, uh, cheerleaders, ballroom dancers, and competitive eaters. They're all athletes in my book. And I don't care what anybody says. But your body doesn't recognize you're full until like 15 minutes after you've eaten. That's why on Thanksgiving, I just try and eat as fast as I can, you know, and then just kind of let it ride. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to have, yeah, I'm going to have pie. Like full is, there's the sweet stomach and the savory stomach. And so right now, like savory stomach... It's completely full. It's it's the sweet stomach though that needs replenishing. Yeah. No, thank you so much. I'll I'll just stack it and I'll help wash. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll keep the fork. You don't need a new fork. Who who am I? You don't have to impress me. You've already done that with your green bean casserole. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just you thought I was gonna do it? No, I'm I'm like I'm crazy. I'm not that crazy. Although people with like the, the 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 cheddar cheese on the apple pie, I don't know. If people think I'd be into it, I'm not. It's weird. It's just like the cheese gets kind of sweaty. It's crazy. All right. We're all gonna go around, say what we're thankful for. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's tradition. Come on. Okay, you, yeah, you go, you go, you go. <laughs> I didn't know there was gonna be another green bean casserole. I didn't know, like, I, I guess I should have asked, but I didn't. Hmm. Oh. That's a good one. That's good. We can all be thankful for that. <laughs> how, how did I get food there? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm just a tornado when I eat. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I am thankful that I got to spend Thanksgiving with all of you, beautiful people. Um, truly, I mean, this is, it was really fantastic. I mean, the one, the food was great. Uh, your green bean casserole was better. I can completely, you know, uh, I'll give you that one. Next year, though, I'm coming, I'm coming back with a vengeance here. Um, but no, I'm thankful that, you know, I have, I have people who were willing to let me eat with them and share their space and uh, truly sort of, you know, experience the, the love and bounty that we have for Thanksgiving. I'm happy that I get to do something that I love every single day and show up with people that I love and spend time with them. Um, you know, they say if you find something you truly love, you never work a day in your life. And I, I don't know about that because I feel like I work pretty hard. But, um, you know, no, it's, it definitely holds true. And so I guess that's what I'm, I'm thankful for. Yeah. And this pie. This is, this is a sweet potato. It's not pumpkin, right? Yeah, I, I know. I prefer it. You don't, you don't have to apologize. No, like, literally, I'm telling you that, like, I don't, like, pumpkin, I love pumpkin pie, don't get me wrong, but, like, sweet potato is, like, my preferred, yeah. They were out. Costco, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the problem. You went to Costco. No. Yeah. I avoid Costco within, like, three weeks of Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Mm. God, I, I tried to hold strong. Um, it's just not happening. We're, we're done, so. Ugh. I just made it. Hey, I told you, no, no, no. I told, I told you I'd do the, I told you I'd do the dishes. I brought a green bean casserole. And you already had one. Like, I deserve, give, stop it. Put it down. Put, put the washcloth down. I'll, I'll be there in a second. You want coffee? 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 Gotcha.